fine thing. Now, in terms of what subjects one studies in college, I mean, it depends what one wants to do. If one looks at the traditional export fields, that is, if you study this field, you can go and do all kinds of stuff. The winner historically has been physics. You know, that's been the one where if you look at sort of the life stories of people who've gone on and, you know, started molecular biology or started, you know, a bunch of areas of computer science or whatever else, they studied physics. Um, that's been, why is that? I think it's because it's a quantitative field that has definite things, but it is not as kind of detailed as mathematics and not as kind of, um, uh, not as sort of, uh, uh, formalistic as mathematics. It's more practical. It's like there's quantitative things, but you can study all kinds of stuff with them. Now, the details of studying particular areas of physics, I'm not sure how useful that is, but the general methodology has turned out to be a good export field. I think the other export fields that uh, in, you know, I think, I think computer science is a little bit of an export field and has become in some of the, some places is becoming more of an export field. There are fields that, you know, if well taught are good export fields, like philosophy, if well taught is a good export field for lots of kinds of things. I think for some areas, economics in certain kinds of teaching is probably a reasonable export field, but you don't see, uh, you know, so that's, that's one, you know, one consideration. But I think in, um, 